When the king of Egypt heard that the Israelites had finally left, he and his officials changed their minds and said, Look what we have done! We have let them get away and they will no longer be our slaves! The king got his war chariot and army ready. He commanded his officers in charge of his 600 best chariots and all his other chariots to start after the Israelites. The Lord made the king so stubborn that he went after them, even though the Israelites proudly went on their way. But the king's horses and chariots and soldiers caught up with them while they were camping by the Red Sea near Pihahiroth and Baal Zephon. When the Israelites saw the king coming with his army, they were frightened and begged the Lord for help. They also complained to Moses. Wasn't there enough room in Egypt to bury us? Is that why you brought us out here to die in the desert? Why did you bring us out of Egypt anyway? While we were there, didn't we tell you to leave us alone? We had rather be slaves in Egypt than die in this desert. But Moses answered, Don't be afraid, be brave, and you will see the Lord save you today. These Egyptians will never bother you again. The Lord will fight for you and you won't have to do a thing. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you keep calling out to me for help? Tell the Israelites to move forward, then hold your walking stick over the sea. The water will open up and make a road where they can walk through on dry ground. I will make the Egyptians so stubborn that they will go after you. Then I will be praised because of what happens to the king and his chariots and cavalry. The Egyptians will know for sure that I am the Lord. All this time, God's angel had gone ahead of Israel's army, but now he moved behind them. A large cloud had also gone ahead of them, but now it moved between the Egyptians and the Israelites. The cloud gave light to the Israelites, but made it dark for the Egyptians. And during the night, they could not come any closer. Moses stretched his arm over the sea, and the Lord sent a strong east wind that blew all night until there was dry land where the water had been. The sea opened up and the Israelites walked through on dry land with a wall of water on each side. The Egyptian chariots and cavalry went after them. But before daylight, the Lord looked down at the Egyptian army from the fiery cloud and made them panic. The chariot wheels got stuck and it was hard for them to move. So the Egyptians said to one another, Let's leave these people alone. The Lord is on their side and is fighting against us. The Lord told Moses, Stretch out your arm toward the sea. The water will cover the Egyptians and their cavalry and chariots. Moses stretched out his arm, and at daybreak, the water rushed toward the Egyptians. They tried to run away, but the Lord drowned them in the sea. The water came and covered the chariots and cavalry and the whole Egyptian army that had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not one of them was left alive. But the sea had made a wall of water on each side of the Israelites, so they walked through on dry land. On that day, when the Israelites saw the bodies of the Egyptians washed up on the shore, they knew that the Lord had saved them. Because of the mighty power he had used against the Egyptians, the Israelites worshipped him and trusted him and his servant Moses.